Hi, my name's Dan Harris, Vice President of Engineering at Dodanko. This training video is going to give you an overview of how to utilize the BIM Creation tab feature of the Dodanko Selection Software Program. So what we've done is we've created three different perimeter zones with this example, and within each of those three zones, we've selected different models of active chilled beams. The first one has an ACB40, the second an ACB50, and the third an ACB20. Each of these three zones have a uh, have different um, primary airflow rates, at lengths of chilled beams, and different water flow rates. So once we've completed the technical requirements for each of those zones, we can then click on the Create BIM Files tab. And when we do that, we'll be asked to save a text file. So we click Save for the ACB20, Save for the ACB40, and Save for the ACB50. And what that does is it creates the associated text file for each of those models. We can then download the latest Revit files from the Dodanko website to ensure that we've got the latest and greatest up-to-date model. The text files will be located in the same directory as the location of the Excel file used to create them. When you go to the website to download the RFA files, ensure that they are saved in the same location. The next step is to load the families of active chilled beams into the Revit MEP program. We do that by clicking Load Family, going to the location that houses the RFA files, selecting all of the RFA files that you want to bring into this project. Then, from the schedule, we can determine which of the individual selections we want to bring in. So for the first two, we only had one, and for the third one, there was other options, so we're just going to grab the first one. Now on the left hand side we're going to scroll through the families library and now look at mechanical equipment. And if we look under mechanical equipment, this is where now the active chilled beams are located. We've got ACB 1, 2 and 3. So it's as simple as now dragging and dropping and we can now locate multiple of the same type of ACB 3 we can bring in ACB1 and the same thing for ACB2. So you can see now we've now inserted multiple active chilled beams into this family and into this design. Once the chill beam has been loaded into your project, you can review the information and the detail of that individual unit by clicking on the element properties. Instance properties enable you to change things like air inlet connection handing, and in this example we can change it from a front connection to a right connection, or water handings. We can change that from left to right, and then the model itself will update automatically. And you can see the air inlet connection has changed and the water handing is now on the other side. The type properties for this unit display a variety of useful information. For example, we can adjust the air inlet connection size. It indicates to us all of the design parameters that the system was engineered for. And it also provides us dimensional information and useful links in order to obtain additional information like installation, operation, maintenance manuals and links to our websites to show additional data. When loading a family into Revit MEP, you will notice that a lot of information is included in the active chilled beam itself and all this information is coming and driven from that text file that we've created. So all of the performance data and technical information is included now within the model itself. Capacities, lengths, noise data, um, any other technical information that's critical to the, pro to the project is now included 